Hello, how you doing, guys? Wow, thank you so much. How lovely to see you as well. Well, everyone, it's Saturday night. Welcome to the Jonathan Ross Show. Uh, so let me ask you this question. Have you all been watching the new ITV reality program, Splash? <laughs> Splash, or to give it its scientific name, Strictly Come Gravity. Uh, if you haven't seen it, Tom Daly, little Tom Daly, tries to teach celebrities to dive like professionals. A lot of people on Twitter thought it could be improved, maybe by the introduction of a new element. <laughs> it's quite impressive, though, because they're jumping. I don't know if you've ever been on a high ball, but that's a big high. I think, though, they should do this. They should get the audience to decide how high the ball should be, depending on how much they like the celebrities. <laughs> so anyone you like, it's lower, lower. Anyone from The Only Way is Essex, higher, higher. <laughs> Uh, did you see this new story about the French actor? I'm a big fan of him. The French actor Gérard Depardieu has become a Russian citizen, OK? Mainly to avoid tax. In Russia, his name is pronounced differently. Over there, they call him Jimmy Carr. So he's... <laughs> Evening, Jimmy. Um, he's watching. The annual list of things found in budget hotel rooms has just been released. I look forward to this every year. This year, and these are genuine items that people have left in hotel rooms when they've checked out. This year, the list includes a micro pig, <laughs> a tanning booth, and a bucket of crabs. <laughs> I think someone got Heston Blumenthal's new cookbook for Christmas. <laughs> uh, another story here is a coffee shop in Bedford. This is a true story as well. This is, the shop is called Frescoes, and they've had a genuine fresco painted on the walls outside. Have a look at these pictures. It's very impressive. It cost £12,000, and it copied a work from Rome Sistine Chapel, and I think it shows the famous biblical scene in which Jesus enters the temple and orders an ice skinny latte with sprinkles. <laughs> the Bedford coffee shop Fresco has even had religious blessing. Apparently, it has been approved by the Catholic Church. <laughs> You're very kind, thank you. Uh, here's another story this week. A man dressed in a chicken suit. Uh, once again, this is a true story. You might have seen this in the papers. A man dressed in a chicken suit has been beaten up by customers for protesting outside a branch of KFC. Here he is. He was outside. <laughs> On the way out, people who've been shopping in there pelted him with chicken wings, <laughs> sauce, and nuggets. And nuggets are good things to throw, because they've got a nice... <laughs> Afterwards, he was taken to hospital, where doctors described his condition as delicious. <laughs> Uh, I'm thrilled this week. Uh, finally, we got them on one of the best bands in the country. It's Biffy Clyro, ladies and gentlemen. There they are. Uh, they'll be doing a whole number at the end of the show, ladies and gentlemen. That's Biffy Clover. But let's see who else is on the show tonight. We've got a great lineup for you. My first guest is one of the country's favourite comedians right now. He is the magnificent Mickey Flanagan. <laughs> Mickey Flanagan, right there. <laughs> Mickey, it's, uh, it's all right for me to say this. You're genuinely a cockney, aren't you? No, don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I went to Cambridge. Come on, do your research, John. <laughs> see, that's why it's hard to interview him, because like all cockneys, he doesn't want to grass anyone up. He won't talk. <laughs> The mask has slipped already, Ross. Oh. The mask has slipped. <laughs> He's almost about. Go back. Get off Jamie for a second. <laughs> uh, you can we... introduce Jamie now. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You will never guess who my next guest is, ladies and gentlemen. Possibly the coolest star in Hollywood right now. The Oscar winning. 
Mr. Jamie Foxx, ladies and gentlemen. There he is. It's Jamie Foxx right there. It's cracking. It's cracking. It's cracking. It's cracking. Jamie Foxx, right there. It's cracking. Good to see you, Jamie. <laughs> What's going on with it? Well, uh, I, 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 yes. Um, <laughs> I guess you can't understand me. Well, I'm still either. thinking Cockney. I'm going to have. Can you understand? Is, is Mickey clear to you? Can you understand the lingo? Yeah, yeah let me hear a little something. Uh, so, what are you doing now? What? Okay. <laughs> what are you up to? Flatness. What's your brown paper, son? Uh, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's hip hop right there. Man. Yeah. <laughs> We're bringing people together. Um, okay, Mr. Jamie Foxx, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. <laughs> 